It's a growing problem nationwide and right here in central Indiana. You may have never even heard of it. RTV6 reporter Tanya Spencer is live in our newsroom with this developing story, how dog flipping works and what unsuspecting pet owners need to know. Tanya? Well, Erica, it's just like house flipping, but with dogs. Commonly purebred, unaltered German Shepherds, Rottweilers, Doberman Pinschers, and Pit Bulls. Some are being stolen right out of their yards and then sold for a big profit. It all started three weeks ago when Caesar was reported stolen. His owner spotted their beloved German Shepherd being sold online by Johnny Jones Jr. We learned that this subject uh, had several different posts that he was posting on. You know, the social media Craig, Craigslist was, was the most common one that he's been using. Investigators believe Jones has been flipping dogs for years, getting them from people who are forced to surrender their dogs and think they're giving them to a good home. They say someone matching Jones' description even cried to gain one family's trust, telling them a sob story about how his German Shepherd had recently died. While executing a search warrant at his east side home, Metro Police seized firearms and four dogs. And there was evidence there were more dogs there before police were on to Jones. The animals were kept in small wire crates, and for their sizes, the, the ones that were in the crates were way too big for the crates that they were in. Officers say dog flippers' real intent is to sell the animals or breed them and sell the pups, and there's no law against it. I think it's a lot more common than people know. Experts say try to surrender your dogs to rescue groups or people you know. Also, make sure they're spayed or neutered and have them microchipped. Officers say Caesar, who was microchipped, was dumped shortly before Jones' arrest. Someone found Caesar who has been reunited with his family. We charge only $10 for a microchip. I'd, I'd say that the animal in this incident that started this all off, if he hadn't been microchipped, uh, the chances of us getting him home probably would have been, uh, you know, a lot worse. And more tips. Don't offer up registration documents for the dog you're surrendering. And Google the phone number of the person who calls you about taking your pet. If that phone number shows up on several sites selling animals, he or she is probably a flipper. Officers are investigating several more dog flipping cases right now, and they hope to make more arrests very soon. Now, Jones is charged with felony theft and being a serious felon in possession of a firearm. Reporting live in the newsroom, Tanya Spencer, RTV6.